In the last few years, uh, we've seen a second modality called the CT coronary angiogram being increasingly used by doctors and other uh, primary care physicians. So a CT coronary angiogram tries to provide the same information as a typical invasive angiogram. And it's called a non-invasive approach because there's no needles into the arteries um, and a patient is placed uh, within a CT scanner. Um, the dye is injected through the vein, usually um, in the vein uh, in the elbow crease. And um, as the patient lies in the scanner, um, the, um, the images of the heart arteries are recreated using the CT scanner to provide the information of the blood supply going to the heart muscle in the same way uh, as we do with a typical invasive angiogram. So in this um, type of test called a CT angiogram, we get also very good images uh, of the blood supply to the heart muscle, uh, hence it's called an angiogram. There is some data to suggest that in the CT scan there is less irradiation uh, than for a um, typical invasive angiogram.